All right. Let's go. Ready to do this? Yeah. Okay. Good morning, everyone. So, we have had a very full four or five days. And Parker's um, sick. Parker's sick. That was the big end of my story, actually. Parker is currently sick. The last few days have been kind of all over the place because we have been very much isolating since all of this started in March. We did have a visit from Colleen because she's in our quarantine pod. Then on Thursday, Christopher took Luke to the pediatrician because he's a new baby and he also has his chromosomal microdeletion. So his weigh-ins are particularly important. For us, that told us that we were then going into quarantine. So that's how we work in our little quarantine pod where if one of our family members goes into the outside world, especially somewhere like a doctor's office, we then don't expose our quarantine pod any further. And then on Saturday night, Luke had a choking incident where we had to give him Heimlich and it was pretty scary. We then followed up by talking to the on-call pediatrician and taking him to the emergency room to get his lungs x-rayed to check for aspiration. He did aspirate a little bit. He had like fluid and stuff in his lungs, so he was then put on antibiotics. He is really good now. Like, I don't wanna say that in a way that's like scary to you guys. Um, I don't want you worrying too much about him. He does seem like really good now. So that was Saturday night. That had really taken a lot of energy out of him and we, were, we went right into like kind of a lot going on. So Sunday was a family day. It was pretty chill. Christopher did go to the pharmacy and pick up antibiotics. And then Monday I called our actual pediatrician and he wanted to see Luke and listen to his lungs and see what he was looking like now. Then that evening, Parker started complaining of a headache and that is rare. He's had headaches before, but it's not a common thing. I wouldn't say that he gets them like in response to seasonal allergies or anything like that. I was like, okay, you've got a headache, drink some water. It's been hot lately. Have you been drinking water? He came over and I like hugged him and he felt really warm and I took his temperature and it was just under 102. So I think it was 101.7. And I don't know how this kid has spiked a fever. Like, I don't know what could be happening with him. We've had very limited exposure to the outside world, so I don't know how he would be sick. And it started like, in my brain, like things moving around going like, okay, well, I've also had a headache. Like I had a headache on Sunday. I had a headache a little bit yesterday and then this morning I'm waking up and I have a headache. This is totally reaching in my brain, but I'm also like, okay, and Luke has fluid on his lungs in his x-ray. Like what if that wasn't, from the choking. And I know that's a stretch, but this is like my mom brain going on overdrive. So I don't know why Parker would have a fever. I don't know why we're having headaches. I would like to try to go get a COVID-19 test for him. And I told him that I would take it to if they'll give me one. I don't, I don't even know if we'll be able to get one for him, um, but we're gonna try this morning. But I just wanna get checked and I, I'd rather know and kind of know what our large family could be facing. And we, we honestly, we haven't seen anybody since those events. Like we haven't seen any other family members or anything. So hopefully there wouldn't be any spread of it from us, but we should know if that's what's going on. Yeah, I like have to hold my breath whenever someone else comes here. But, yeah. Parker's been doing that. We, we tell him not to hold his breath, but <laughs> we do, we also tell him that he's not holding the baby right now, so. So Parker and I are gonna get in the car right now. We're gonna drive to one of our local urgent cares and see if we can get a test. You ready, dude? Yep. We're outside of the urgent care and about to go check and see how to do this. I assumed that we wouldn't be walking in because there are other patients at an urgent care as well in case we do have COVID, but when I called, I couldn't get much information on that. So I'm gonna like look outside for signs or something and see if there's info because I don't, I really don't wanna just walk in in case we could be exposing other people, but we'll see. Okay, so. Right. Masked up? I'm masked up. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Ready to do this? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we figured things out. There was somebody masked and in 
gear. I'm standing outside of the testing center and he asked us some questions. He said that both Parker and I could get tested. He then gave us forms to fill out in our car. So we're back here to fill out forms right now and to register. And I think we're taking pictures of the form and then like sending them up or something. I haven't done it yet. Okay, so we're going to the back of the urgent care and we're the first ones in I called it while we were driving I was like we're gonna be the first ones in and I called it they're gonna come to us at the back and I don't know really what they're saying by the back but yeah um so we're gonna go to back and they're gonna do the testing on us I'm really nervous but exciting because like Getting a COVID test is like, oh no, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna like hurt me in some reason or something like that? But I'm really scared, but so excited because I wanna know if I have COVID or not because I do not like being sick. See you when we're done with the testing. Bye. Well, I don't mean like bye of the whole entire thing, but I'll see you when the testing happens. Bye! So we just drove to the back alley. The doctor called based on the registration forms that I sent in with my phone, which was pretty cool. She just kind of talked to me a little bit. Hearing about Luke, she thought we should probably follow up and test him as well. Yeah, follow up with his pediatrician and maybe consider testing him as well. It's going up your nose. He will not like it. Yeah, that would be hard for him, huh? She was like, yeah, you might want to consider calling his pediatrician. And I was like, I know, I just like, I don't, I can't tell if, if like I'm overreacting or not. And she was like, well, we're in a pandemic, so like you're not overreacting. I was like, oh. Now Parker scooted up to the front and we're just sitting here waiting. I think there's one car in front of us, but we're almost the first people of the day and the facility's been open for almost a full hour. I think that's pretty promising. Hopefully not a lot of people in our town are needing to be tested. It doesn't seem like they're too overwhelmed. It did seem like the test will take about five days. So this isn't that like instant test that you might've heard about. We're not gonna get results for a while, but here we go. It was really hard. They stuck it up my nose and they like, yeah, like they put it like up to like here. That was like, no. it hurt a lot. <laughs> and I, my eyes are kind of watering. <laughs> and yeah, it kind of hurt. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> I did not like it. I bet if Luke had it, he would scream so so loud I was like shaking and I'm still shaking the results are coming in like five three days if I have COVID if I don't have COVID or if I spread COVID or if I don't have COVID or if I'm totally fine if I Maybe have the slight of fever. I'm pretty scared that I have COVID. But it, the results don't come until like, I don't know, like five days, three days, four days. Right after and when I was doing the test, I felt like it hurt really bad. Like, my nose is like really big now. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a little bit of a nightmare. It really hurt. It really hurt. It went on for like this nose, it was like really long. And then this nose, it was like in the middle. It really hurt. You like put it up to your brain. Right after you take the test, it's like, Like you're having a little moment. I love you so much guys. And uh, I just wanted to give you a little tips if you got test, if you're getting tested. My tips for you are holding your mom's hand if you are a child like me. 
stuff like that, holding your mom or dad's hand, or both. I don't know. Just like, try to stay calm. That's the most tips I have for you because it was like my red is still, my nose is still red. It takes them a hard time because what they're literally doing is they're, they're trying to find the things from your nose, which is like really hard to see if you have COVID. So that is if I had to take it again, I would be like calming myself down because I know what's gonna happen. Because I already know what's gonna happen because I've already done it before. That's my tip. You guys can put some um, more tips on to the chat. And we're home, so I'm so excited to go see my family. I love you guys. Bye. Well, I don't mean like I'm gonna end the video, but like the video is still going. Okay. I love you. Bye. Parker grabbed the camera when he went um, and ran back to the back seat of the car after getting the test, and now he's out of the car, so it's kind of nice because I can talk to you privately. Because <laughs> I had to stay like calm and cool about it in front of Parker, obviously, because I'm like the strong mom and everything. But I would say it does have an element of hurt to it, and I, like again, I don't want to. I don't want to scare anybody who hasn't taken it because it's important to do it. It's like tickle that hurts. My tip was I think I kind of closed my eyes, I think, and I counted to 10. So I was like one, two, three. And I did that for both nostrils and kind of got myself through it that way. It is a different feeling. It does go on longer than you expect because if you've ever had a nasal swab or a swab for like strap or something, usually those are like kind of a fast thing. And then this, because it it's a little bit longer, I feel like you're feeling it more, and it's it, it's like almost feels like sharp and tickly. But it definitely was like I feel like I was kind of like tense and holding my breath and like kind of just waiting for it to end. Um, but it did, and it was very quick. Uh, we were in and out in less than an hour. It hasn't always been like that, even in our own area. So I'm really grateful that it was pretty quick. I'm grateful that the results should. Be up he said within three to five days and I I don't know maybe it will be closer to three since there really weren't that many people there getting the test so I'm hopeful that we'll get results somewhat soon and it's also it's Tuesday so maybe we'll get them by Friday that'll be great otherwise we'll have to go through the weekend and then it'll be even longer but hopefully we'll know soon hopefully everything's just fine and he just has a mystery fever and I've got mystery aches and pains and sleepiness <laughs>